What is going on guys, this is Johnny here, first coming to YouTube, and welcome back to another video. Um, okay, so this time, uh, I'm going to be continuing with the Android Studio app development series. So yes, um, you guys asked me to do it, so here I am. And, yeah, what I'm doing today actually is I'm trying to create, or I'm creating a project, um, and you guys will actually take part in the whole uh, development process. And I'm basically going, con uh, I'm basically going to uh, explain the whole code. I'm writing and just, you know, telling you what to do and all this. So this is actually a good way of teaching, I think. So you can actually participate in this uh, tutorial, kind of, and you can see what I'm doing. And this is going to be um, a more advanced version of the uh, app I created in Xamarin Studio. This is this kind of a contact manager, organizer, whatever you want to call it. But it's not actually going to use any um, data storage options. So, yeah, just something I wanted to tell you. All right. So, let's get started. So first things first, of course we have to create a new project. And I'm going to call this Contact Organizer now. So Contact Organizer, or Organizer, oh that's cool. Organizer. And then just org.intracode.contactorganizer, just like that. Why am I always typing O Contact Organizer? Okay. And I'm gonna put this on Froyo, and the yeah, this is gonna be the target SDK, of course, the latest API level. There must not already be a file or direct. Oh really? Oh, do I have one in there? Oh, that's bad. Oh, okay. Um, then I'm just gonna call this contact manager, I think. Although I'm not really sure if that is actually in there, but okay. So let's call this contact manager. Okay. So now let's hit next, and I'm not actually going to import an image or anything like that. I think it's not really worth it. Hit next, and we're going to use a blank activity, and I'm going to call this main activity and finish the project. Um, a low access, yeah, sure. Do what you have to do. So now it's going to build again with Gradle. It's going to take a little while, I guess. I'm sorry. Oh great, it's downloading, oh awesome. Because what actually happened is that uh, my Android Studio wasn't working anymore for some reason. I updated it and then it didn't work anymore, so it had some problems with Gradle and all this. I don't even know, it was kind of weird, but um, I got it to work again. Okay, did you know? No, thank you. I don't want to have any tips. No, show tips on Star. why did I leave that there? Okay, anyways, I'm just going to maximize this. Alright, so now I'm going to go to my project, go to Contact Manager, Project. I'm gonna basically set up the AI, uh, UI, AI. Interesting. Um, and I'm actually going to speed this up. But before I speed it up, I'm actually just going to show you what I'm doing on the uh, user interface. So I'm just going to use the designer, I guess, for now. Not all the time, but uh, right now I will. Okay. So what I'm just doing is actually uh, I'm going to speed this up now, guys. So uh, see you in a second. Um, so now I'm done with it, and as you can see, 
this is now the UI I designed here, right? Now, and so as it says, um, we're gonna make a content creator. Uh, so this is basically what I was doing uh, in Xamarin Studio, and I'm basically gonna make this a lot better than in Xamarin Studio and a lot more complex. So yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> this is what we're going to do. And I, uh, what I did right here is actually create kind of a title right here. So this is gonna be the content creator. Then we have a contact name, a phone number, email address, and I basically changed all the input types, set a margin, and I was uh, setting a hint. So this hint is basically just uh, if nothing is entered in there, then it is actually, uh, you know, uh, just kind of uh, not doing anything. Uh, I mean, uh, showing the hint text in this gray color. The button is also not going to be enabled. Oh, well, actually, okay, you need to at least enter in a contact name or it's not going to work. So yes, that's it for the UI so far, which is fine I guess. And um, yeah, okay, so now since we got that right now, um, this is actually, I'm actually probably going to add a tab view as well. So this is going to be way better done, so you can stay tuned for that, but at the moment this is how it's going to be for now. Um, so we're going to get to the main activity right now. Okay, so let's delete some of the comments because we don't need that. And we got all stuff here. So first I'm going to set uh, some variables. So we're going to use edit text right here and I'm going to import that. Alt and enter. So enter te edit text is first uh, we're going to do the name txt. Then we're going to have the, uh, what was the next one? I think email, no it wasn't, it was phone txt. Then we got the email, or let's, let's just call, yeah, email, txt, and then we got the address, txt. So those are our text thingies right here. Um, then we're going to assign them. So I'm just going to do name, txt, equals to, uh, now we need to cast this to an edit text, and I'll find view by id, r.id. Dot and now since it's text, it's going to be here. So txt name right here. Okay, and so now I'm just going to do this for all of the edit texts, and I'll be back in a second. Okay, and now I'm going to create a button as well. Um, this is going to be the button we're going to use for the ad. So I'm just going to call this ad btn equals to and cast this to a button, obviously, and then find view by the or.id.btn add like that. So now we got everything set up, I guess. Um, and yes, I think we are ready to go almost. But uh, before I end this first video um, of this tutorial, I'm actually gonna uh, get the click event, uh, the text changed event. So I'm gonna do name txt dot, and now we have to on text. Uh, no, I think it's something with change something. Um, oh, add text changed listener, and then you text watcher. And now we're gonna do, so this is the before text changed. That really doesn't matter. And on text change is gonna be what we're going to use. So I'm gonna get rid of uh, this add override because we don't need that. We can just leave it at that. We just need, um, oh, I'm sorry, actually, we have to keep that, but what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to do super dot uh, before, I think that's not even it, okay, uh, okay, I don't really know, I'm sorry. Huh, okay, I don't know, but we're just going to leave it at that for now. It just avoids, so it doesn't really matter. We're not going to do anything here. But on the on text change event, what we are going to do, uh, we're going to check whether the, uh, there is actually input in the text. So we're going to do um, add button dot uh, set enabled, and then we're going to do um, string dot is. Uh, I think oh, I didn't even know. Oh my god, this is so different here. Okay, I think car sequence dot will 
shields to nothing. Okay, so the add button is going to be enabled. So the add button is going to be enabled if the uh, if uh, the car sequence doesn't equal to nothing. So this is basically just the text you're going to enter in here. So if it's like space and all this, we're going to work on that as well. But uh, for now, this is going to be fine. Okay, so that's it already. Um, this is it for the first tutorial. And uh, yeah, guys, I see you in uh, the next tutorial.